Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. I'm Ben and today we're looking at the Takamine GN75CE. Takamine are well known for providing working musicians with hard working instruments and the guitar we're looking at today certainly falls into that category. The GN75CE features a solid Sitka spruce top, laminated quilted maple back and sides, a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard, and our example comes with Takamini's own TK40D preamp. Let's have a listen to the guitar and come back afterwards for my thoughts. My initial impression on getting the guitar out of the box was that it's everything that you'd expect from a Takamine really. There's some stage worthy bling, a high gloss finish, but the guitar was playable straight from the box. The colour of the guitar, I'll be honest, probably wouldn't be my first choice for a guitar personally. The combination of a high gloss dark finish does mean that the guitar was already showing a few blemishes like fingerprints and a little bit of pick wear in fact, which was a bit disappointing but is to be expected with this sort of finish. Playing the guitar acoustically, I did feel a little bit that the sound was constricted. Um, maybe the, the low lows weren't quite as present there as you would want on a guitar. And, and the upper highs weren't quite there either. In fact, it's quite a, a robust sound, but not unpleasing. Just not the detail of some guitars that I have played in the past. The low notes aren't particularly lively and do lack a little bit in sustain. But I think this might be due to a poor fitting saddle, which as a main point of contact for the string can affect those notes on a guitar. The plugged in sound was definitely you know, identifiable as a piezo pickup, but it's certainly serviceable and I think in a gig situation many sound people would be able to get a decent sound out of that pickup live. That's particularly good because I think a lot of users of this guitar are going to be using it mainly in a live situation. Although the sound didn't blow me away, I was really impressed by the playability of this guitar I think that's where it really shines actually. The neck, unlike a lot of guitars in this range, had a lot of character and, and a bit of meat to it actually, so it kind of sat in the hand really nicely. And the action from the nut all the way up to the high frets by the cutaway was perfectly low and very playable. I think the players who are really going to find this guitar suitable for them are probably those who are playing in a band situation and need an electroacoustic that's you know, going to stay in tune night after night going to give them a good decent plugged in sound they don't really have to worry about too much fiddling with to get a, a lively sound in the gig environment. The onboard preamp has lots of EQ options with a three band EQ and a mid shift uh, and also most usefully I think a notch filter for fighting feedback which is something if you are using the guitar in a band situation you are going to have to fight sometimes. Although in general the build quality is good I think there are a couple of oversights which you know, probably should be pointed out one of which is the loose fitting saddle, which I've already mentioned. And I also feel there's a little bit too much filler around the inlays on the fingerboard. That could be done a little bit more neatly, though it obviously doesn't affect the way the guitar sounds or plays. At the suggested retail price of 569, this guitar sits at a point in the market where there's a lot of healthy competition. And I think if you looked around, you could find guitars with higher specs and guitars with lower specs at that price point. 
So I think really you have to decide for yourself whether the specs of this guitar are going to meet your needs. My favourite thing about this guitar was the feel of the neck under my left hand. Um, I was actually quite surprised at how playable this guitar was and how enjoyable it was to play. Uh, my least favourite thing, I have to say, is that loose-fitting saddle. I think at this price point, particularly with the competition that's out there nowadays, small details like that are really important on a guitar, not just for buyers, but for manufacturers. So uh, I think that could be fixed. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and we hope to see you again next time.